This is the Realme GT3. It's basically a OnePlus 11R with two features that make it stand apart. It's 240 watt super fast charging technology and the breathing pulsing light design on the rear. So we are here at MWC where Realme had a global launch for this event. And these are my first look, quick first impressions of the new Realme GT3. To start off, the design of the phone is a nice uh, basic design with a nice curved back so it feels really nice to hold in the hand because it's got a matte frosted AG glass and the one in white especially looks very good. There's also one in black color as well. Now the GT3 is technically the successor to the GT Neo 3 that launched last year. Remember the GT Neo 3 and the OnePlus 10R? Now both these phones are available in a product buying link on YouTube. Go check that out if you haven't already and you can just pick up the phones from there if you're interested in it. But the coolest thing about this phone is that breathing pulsing light on the rear. If you ask me, I love it. Think of it as a notification LED plus plus. Remember the notification LED that we used to have in many phones in the past. So basically when you get an incoming call or messages or notifications, the light pulses on the rear and you can change the color according to your preference as well. Say for example, if you get a message from somebody you don't want to get a message from, then you can keep the pulsing light as red so that you can avoid it. Also, since you can see where the notification has come from and your display would be face down on the table, you can save on precious screen time as well. For the rest of the design, you've got an infrared port on the top, a mic and a speaker as well. And at the bottom, you've got a speaker, a Type-C port and a SIM card tray too. And on the side, you've got the power button and on this side, you've got the volume rocker. Design-wise, I'd say it's a basic design, but with that cool pulsating LED light. But the marquee headlining feature of this phone has to be the 240 watt charging speeds. Now you guys know me, I don't care too much about fast charging because I'm worried about the battery life's longevity in general. But then again, this is a cool feature to have for those who care about fast charging. Now with this kind of charging tech, you can actually charge this phone from 0 to 100 in under 10 minutes flat. That's really, really fast. In fact, Realme had a real life demo on stage where it set the timer to 1 minute 15 seconds and the phone charged from 0 to 23%. And of course, with that kind of charge, obviously your battery anxiety definitely goes away. For people, I know a lot of you folks love fast charging. This is going to be a marquee feature for a lot of folks. But here's the thing, right? The moment Realme GT3 launched with the 240W, Redmi leaks are already out saying that we're going to get a phone with Redmi Note series at 300W charging speeds. Charging speeds are just going bonkers. But you know what? It feels like a vanity metric to me personally. It feels like a rat race to go at faster charging speeds instead of bringing better battery technologies themselves. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Hey, wait a second. In all of this mess, I completely forgot to tell you guys about the display of the phone. Now, this one's a 6.74 inch display with one thing that again sets it apart from the OnePlus 11R. It's got 144 hertz refresh rate. Now, why did I say that this is basically a OnePlus 11R just with fast charging and pulsing light? Because the rest of the specs are the same. Instead, you've got Snapdragon's 8 Plus Gen 1, which is also visible on the outside. And that looks kind of cool because this transparent layer is really, really good looking. And you've also got 8 GB, 128 GB the base variant and the global variant can actually go up to 16 1TB as well. Now here's the thing, even the camera specs are exactly the same. It's the 50 megapixel Sony IMX 890 with an 8 megapixel ultra wide and a 2 megapixel macro and a 16 megapixel camera on the front. Now I'm at the event so I've not taken too many photos but I will definitely take a lot of samples and put them in a G drive link for you guys to check it out but I'm pretty certain that you guys want to know a camera comparison test between the OnePlus 11R and the GT3. Now that one's in the works, stay subscribed for it. But the 890 is a capable processor and you can expect some decent kind of photos. I'm showing you the photos on the screen and let me know what you guys think and what's your first impression like. So you must be wondering when is this coming to India? Well, there is no India launch timeline yet. Realme hasn't confirmed anything and they themselves aren't aware of it. But the price, like I mentioned, the European price is about 699. So you can do the Indian conversion for it. And that's what you can expect for the Indian price as well for this phone. Do you think it's too much? Do you think it's okay? Let me know in the comments below. By the way, we have a lot of MWC coverage happening and if you haven't checked it out, you definitely must do it. There are a lot of shots on our English channel, Tamil channel, uh, Track It Tech, Hindi, Track It Tech, Shorts, or Tech, everywhere. Just stay subscribed everywhere. Now, I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, keep tracking and stay safe.